Well, it's that time. The proper trailer for Apple TV Plus's Masters of the Air, which arrives in January, has dropped today. And I didn't do a reaction for the teaser because the teaser wasn't very good. But let's have a look at the trailer because it's got a lot more in it. And I think it rounds things out a bit. And a lot of the things that were raised by those of us in the AV geek community, <laughs> it sounds terrible saying it like that, I think you're addressed. So let's go through this, pick it apart a bit. There's some cool looking stuff in it and some new faces in there as well. So let's fire up the old YouTubes and give it a go. Okay, so we're going to start this after the teaser for the trailer bit that seems to be all the rage. I don't get that. I guess I'm just old. But let's fire this up and see what happens. Ooh. So you're right, mate? Dance. Austin's blonde. My girl with riding through is hard to find. It's got to be a blonde on a dashboard of an airplane. It's like a rule. Not if you know where to look. I'll miss you every second. Major Egan. You were the first pilot assigned to the 100th. Me and Buck Levin. You are in charge of 35 planes and 350 air crewmen. Oh, Bell Pauli. Don't you die on me before I get over there. He dead. Something big is <laughs> or broken. shot down. The eighth will be sent in off the largest air armada ever assembled in the history of mankind. Yeah. Straight into Hitler's territory. We need complete and total air superiority. That's the mission. <laughs> you might be the last pretty face I ever see. This ground stuff looks really good. Okay, here we go. Ooh, WGR 21s. Nice. What's the move? Bloody helmet? Bloody helmet, yep. Oh, he's a bloody helmet. Is there? Okay. This... Day in, day out. That's something to a guy, doesn't it? We're here to fight the monsters. Red tails? The things these people are capable of. Now they got it coming. Trust mm. me. Lord, guard and guide the okay. men who fly through the great spaces of the sky. Are we Tuskegee men or what? Sir, yes, sir. We're going to come back to this. the air in darkening storms or sunshine fair. I think we may be done. We are going to sit here and take it. We're going to stick with our mission as long as we can fly. We won't go without a fight. Mm. There we go. Month and a half to go, ladies and gentlemen. So it's looking good. Let's go back and have a look at a few bits. So let's start looking at the aerial stuff a bit. So where things, for me, start getting a little bit interesting is... Now, this could be compression, because these trailers so far have only been dropped in um, 1080p. I've got the, the high bit rate going for... YouTube Prime, it all looks a tad washed out. You know, if we look back at um, this bit here, I, again, it's it's a bit Unreal Engine-y, which is, which is surprising. It, it just seems a little bit washed out. So it's not something I've not seen in a computer game, and that's kind of maybe where I'm, I have worries. But, you know, when we start looking around at the alley tally as the, the boys on fighting and film would say it looks good the set dressings look fantastic it's all kind of there there's a lot more in this as as we were saying than the trailer we're getting sort of the more actresses i was going to say english girl but she's wearing green so probably not whoever bell Pauli's agent is She's fantastic. She's basically got Apple wrapped up at the moment. She's popping up in everything they make. There's a lot of positives to sort of take away here. Um, Paris, interesting, because a lot of the Eighth's early raids were towards places like the Renault factory on the outskirts of Paris, Think places that were easy to find and easy to bomb. So, yeah, we're we're seeing some interesting takes on it. And... Yeah, you know, whereas Paris herself was spared 
what every other city in in Europe had to go through. That's a subject for a whole other thing. It's interesting that they're showing that because that kind of puts us very early on. So we're talking 42, early 43 here, um, when those sort of raids were happening. Also, you're, I'm guessing this is when the, the 100th first go over because it's quite a basic setup. So we're seeing clips from what I'm guessing are the first couple episodes here. Yeah, the greatest arm is always the greatest air armada when, when these things go on, despite, you know, everything that's gone before. There was a shot here, which is pretty cool. And with, you know, the, the quality of directors that they've got on this thing, with, you know, John Olaf writing, as I've said in the past, I've had a chat to him about some what he was doing um, and what he showed me on set was starting to pay off in this trailer. Now... Where we want to start getting into it a little bit is these raid shots here. So let's skip forward a bit. Plane takes off. The guy that is there. So I really hope he survives because if he said you're the last person I'm going to see and he dies, that's cliche central. But let's just watch this bit again, right? So that, right? There's two shots in this that we're going to have a little look at, right? So this bit where I actually jumped earlier when we were watching this. That's how you want flak to be. Now the second thing that sort of made me really quite happy, quite happy, that's a terrible thing to say, is this shot here, right? Where are we? Do, 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 do. Uh, is here. So this is an FW 180. Looks like an A8. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. And underneath its wings, are aerial mortars. Now, these things are essentially what was on a, a Nebelwerfer. They are WGR-21s, and essentially they are big, fat rockets that were designed to be fired into a bomber stream to break them up and basically just go off massively like a, like a mortar would. Very interesting to see it thrown in there. That kind of has me excited. because if we sort of play this through a bit... You know, yes, you get hit by one of those things, it's going to ruin your day. They weren't fired, or they shouldn't have been fired. This would be fired en masse into a into a bomber formation. The second Schweinfurt raid, F, uh, ME 110s fired them in into the, the front of it, and it was, a, it was a mess. The idea would be you'd break up the formation and then pick off the stragglers from here. Where, you know, you're starting to see lots of aircraft on the sky, lots of parachutes... It's, I think they're sort of condensing it to show a lot of action. One thing that has me a little bit worried is this bit here, da, 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 as we go zipping through to the end, is where they go into slow-mo. Now, hopefully this is just an editing technique for the trailer to show, show what they're up to, but that's a worry. Also, a jump cut to a Tuskegee Airmen. You could say... <laughs> is it Tuskegee Airmen shooting at a B-17? Obviously it's not. It's just the way it's put the together. But through the great spaces of the sky. You know, what we've got is a very, very broad stretch of story here, which is either going to help or hinder the series. So we've clearly got, if we go back to the briefing scenes here, you've got early days of the 8th in Europe. We have the transports. So we can see what what the war is about if we go so down towards the end we've got pow's and liberation there what makes me kind of happy is this bit here where we see the b17 in the desert um anything to get austin butler's top off apparently showing the transit raids where they would be flying out to north africa supporting all of those things i don't know what the hundredth did in that or when that was but this means we're going to be getting a broader bit which means when we get to the dear gentleman from Tuskegee, if I can find the clip, da, 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 here we are, we're going to be in Italy. So hopefully this means we're going to get a standalone episode on the Red Tails, which will be fantastic for me because I've been on fighting on film to bemoan the George Lucas movie, which should have been good. It had everything in place for it that cast you couldn't 
you can't put that cast together for money today. Some of them, one or two, you can probably get for bus fare. But to get this into Italy for an episode would be fantastic because there's a lot more to the story of it. Granted, they're not 8th, 14th. Um, in darkening storms. But a very, very important story to tell. In the dialogue, I, I don't, I don't know. Lots going on. Everybody seems to be getting shot down. Won't go without a fight. There we go. Don't really want to pick this apart any longer than we have to. But there's, there's a lot more to be happy about here. And I've got a lot of faith in John Olaf. He's an excellent writer. He was super stoked at uh, the. Jim Holland book launch that he sort of went through his iPhone and was showing me pictures of the radio controlled B-17. So there's hope. And, you know, we've only got a month and a half. What is it? We're recording this on the 6th of December. So yeah, literally a month and change to go until this thing starts dropping, which is handy because that should take us to the end of Slow Horses, which is phenomenal. So we know Apple have the chops to do it. We'll have to see what comes out of it. So yeah, there's just so lots of cool stuff to pick out. I'm just a rambling now because I'm I am generally more happy now. Um, I don't know if there's going to be another trailer, but we will we will we will see what they can come up with now. Through the great spaces yeah. of the sky. Are we I, I, again? The CGI doesn't look fantastic, but there we go. I'm just picking holes in it. Yeah, this. Again, kind of matte painting -y. It doesn't... The CGI worries me, but that could just be compression. It could be what we're having on here. But, yeah, I'm here for... The great spaces whatever the episode oh, that one is. Because be with them, traversing the air, that's really what the series should be storms. about, not the hundred. Why do I say that? Well, we we I did have the pleasure of meeting... The wonderful Dick Bouchon, who flew with the 100th sister group, and he wasn't particularly um, uh, praising of the 100th's abilities. That is going to be linked in the description below. Do go check that out, along with the Bomb Museum video as well. Those are all in the description. They're just audio interviews with, with the guys from there, but we'll do some more when we get out to Pima in the new year. So, Mass is the Air, month and a bit away. Tell me what you think, like and subscribe, but do tell me what you think, because I'm more positive now that this has dropped than I was after the teaser trailer. We'll see. Never get your hopes up, people. Go in disappointed, and you'll leave less disappointed when you come out the other side. So, until next time, do take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.